Hello, Renee Flamont here. This topic is always so juicy for me because triangulation, when somebody's trying to make you jealous, it's a triangle, right? So your partner is trying to make you jealous with another person. The insidiousness of that baffles me. I'm not one to try to create jealousy for other people. I'm not one to ever be jealous of another person. I'm not saying in a relationship I felt that jealousy, but in life, I've never, I don't do that. I'm head down my own path. I'm not competitive. I don't worry about what anyone else has or does or accomplishes. I'm happy for everybody. A narcissist in all levels is jealous all the time. So whether it's they want to triangulate you by uh, making you jealous triangle with a third person. Oh, I was at the office party and they were hitting on me or you're out at a club and or, or an event i don't go to clubs anymore but i picture a club atmosphere and they're flirting up a storm over here they know you're watching that's because they're triangulating you they want you to get jealous or you hear the jealousy i was just referring to about other people in life narcissists feel jealousy all the time that's why they're trying to create it in you they're jealous if their friend gets a nice car. They're jealous if their friend has a nice house. They're jealous if their friend goes on a vacation. You can hear it. Oh, yeah, did you see what? Oh, it's disgusting. Those are the exact kind of people that, unfortunately, will use the tool of triangulation to bother you in a relationship. I want you to recognize it. If you're coming back from something and you're in the car and your conversation is, well, I saw you. I saw you. No, you, you're crazy. I did not. And Wednesday's about gaslighting because that's the, their reaction will often be to gaslight you and tell you you're out of your mind. But if you are having that conversation and it's longer than two seconds, because if it's not that and they say, oh, no, 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 she's an insurance agent. It could be true. If they're not a toxic person, it could be true. They're an I got her card. Come here. I want you to meet her. They're going to help us with our home insurance. I'm not saying those things can't happen and the person just happens to be beautiful or handsome and so you gut jealous. But if it's true triangulation and you're in the midst of the conversation, you know two minutes in. You know by how they're talking to you. You know by what they're saying to you. And you know, I am here to tell you, it was on purpose. And oftentimes... It drags a third person into the mix that had no idea they were even in the mix. Went to a party once. Ex-narcissist on the way. Just so you know, there's this lady. <coughs> and I'm not saying anything, but I'm just saying, you know, the last time I met this lady at the party, she, she, she was all over me. I think she really likes me and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Not only was this lady nowhere near this cat, I got no indication when I met her that she was into this cat. She had a husband and three kids. But she was a skinny little blonde, so he knew by putting that into my head, it would mess with me all night. And you know what? It did. Because while I was in the thick of it that night, and under the spell of this narcissist for that time period, I allowed it to bother me. And it's only now in a healthy state of mind. And shortly after that, I became out of it. And I looked back and I was like, that lady had no idea. She wasn't into him. She was never into him. He thought she was cute at the last time he met her. And he knew that saying that to me on the way would get me all fatutzed. And I was fatutzed. Don't allow them to triangulate you. And I want you to recognize it when they're doing it. They're doing it on purpose. And oftentimes we're mad at that third person in the triangle. And in the example I just told you, that lady, had, luckily I wasn't mad. I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And nothing awry happened. But the whole night I was sick in my, in my heart. And then I'm meeting like the husband and I'm seeing the kids. And I'm like, she hasn't even paid him mind. She hasn't even looked in his direction. Because you know I was paying attention to if she did. So before you start seething at the person they're trying to make you jealous with, Try to remember that person might not even be in on it. And the narcissist will always try to make you jealous because they feel jealousy for everybody else. And they get a kick out of it. 
two people fighting for them. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Their ego loves that. So if there is a situation where they can make you feel jealous, in a healthy relationship, the last thing a healthy person would, oh, I don't want them to feel even a millisecond of pain or discomfort. You would never want somebody to feel jealousy, right? So even if it is a healthy example, like it's just an insurance agent, a healthy-minded person might say, let me get my girlfriend or my wife, and we, you can talk to us both about it to make sure that there's no impropriety, um, impropriety uh, uh, um, envisioned and there's no uncomfortable feelings. A narcissist is going to take every opportunity they can to make you feel jealousy. If it's in the workplace, they might triangulate you by making you think they went to lunch with the boss or they went golfing with the boss or they had words with the boss that were favorable and you weren't in on the meeting. And well, you know, they'll often have private jokes with people around you at your expense. Say you're in a room full of people and it's family and friends and you have that one bad egg, they could be a narcissist or a toxic individual that's in your life and they're gonna triangulate you because they're saying to a person around, well, you know what I mean. Pushing the private triangulation. They're trying to make you jealous of their relationship with someone else. They're trying to make you uncomfortable, make you worry, make you look at it, think about it, obsess over it, and that's what we do. Don't give them that power. I want you to look at triangulation as just another tool in their toolbox, and Wednesday we'll talk about another one, which is the gaslighting that they do once they do triangulate you. Another tool in their toolbox that they use to bother you, which culminates in devaluing, which is what Friday's video is going to be about. It's just another way that they devalue you. The triangulation is absolutely disgusting. I think it's, it's such a low form of trying to manipulate someone into feeling bad. I can't even imagine a, a fellow human being doing that to someone else, but they do all the time, especially if they're a narcissist. If they're a friend, they're gonna triangulate you by making you think if you have some mutual friends in common, they did something with those friends and you weren't there. They're going to play that up. They're going to play it up. Oh, yeah, we went. Oh, why didn't you invite me? Oh, well, I don't know. They're going to play it up. Triangulation comes in all forms. It's about making you jealous about a third person. And again, it could be romantic, family, friend, business partner. So keep your eyes open and take the power back. Don't let them make you feel jealous. Recognize, oh, they're doing this on purpose. And that person might be innocent and not even be aware of it. We're going to talk about gaslighting. Here we go.